Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Antonio one more time. Um, happy to be back with you. Today I'm going to show you how to make chile rellenos. And this recipe was a special request that if you know who I'm talking about, uh, you're going to see this and I hope that you really try to make this, uh, this recipe, okay? Let me know how it turns out. All right. Um, let's go through the ingredients. Here are my ingredients. Uh, you're going to need um, some pasilla peppers, uh, vegetable oil, salt, ground up cumin powder, Monterey Jack cheese, about four to five tomatoes, one good sized onion, five eggs, two cloves of garlic, a uh, handful of cilantro, a small bunch, some uh, powdered chicken flavored broth, and some flour. Okay, uh, in this case I'm gonna make seven peppers, seven chilies. So let's get started. All right, um, first thing you're gonna do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees, okay? Once you've got that preheated, go ahead and take your peppers, which have obviously been washed, place them into a cooking sheet, baking sheet, okay? Just like you see here. Go ahead and place them into the oven, and you're gonna let them um, be in the oven for about 25 minutes, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna watch for this peppers to start to develop some bubbles okay the skin of the pepper starts to bubble up and it's going to turn brown and black so you want to see that obviously you don't want to burn them but you do want to keep an eye on them okay okay next item is go ahead and take your um, four to five tomatoes uh, obviously uh, here, here you see that them I've cut the uh, onion along with the garlic and you're gonna go ahead and put those into a pot of boiling water okay your onion tomatoes and your garlic I also like to add a little dash of salt into the spoiling uh, items. Next, go ahead and take your Monterey Jack cheese and cut, um, in this case I have seven peppers, so I've cut seven slices. Each slice is about a quarter inch thick. I really like a lot of cheese in the chilies, okay? <laughs> Anyways, here you see me checking the chilies. I uh, have a pair of tongs here and I, I'm turning the chilies halfway through checking for those bubbles as I mentioned now my vegetables are boiling I've placed the cilantro into my blender into the blender I'm gonna go ahead and put the um, the onions tomatoes and the garlic and I'm gonna blend those up real good it's gonna turn into a sauce or a paste now you're gonna have some leftover water measure out two cups of that water and put it in another pot and put in two tablespoons of the uh, chicken flavored broth go ahead and put that in there and stir it up okay make sure it all dissolves well as you see me doing here okay that's coming along good next item get a big uh, saucepan and place two tablespoons of vegetable oil don't heat it up yet just go ahead and get that ready all right I've taken out my uh, my chilies out of the oven and they look like this as you can see they've got those bubbles and what I like to do is I like to place them into a damp kitchen towel I put them in there and I place them inside a plastic bag what that's gonna do is it's gonna make the chili sweat and it's gonna make these it's gonna make it really easy to remove the skin and that's an important part of this recipe you need to remove the skin from the chilies okay now next to next thing is the into a bowl go ahead and put your five egg whites along with one of the egg yolks and go ahead and get your mixer and get those all fluffy uh, mix them really well okay now previously into the hot oil into the oil that I had in the pan I put in two teaspoons of cumin powder go ahead and put in the tomato sauce from your blender and let that simmer okay go ahead and add about one cup of the um, chicken broth mixture into that sauce also go ahead and stir it up and let it simmer okay put it in low heat this is what it's gonna look like uh, later on if you want to you can add some more of that uh, chicken broth water but right now that's looking good go ahead and take your peppers out after they've been in the bag for about 15 minutes and start to peel off all the skin as you can see here I'm peeling off the skin and, and it just comes off real easy Next, go ahead and make a small cut into each one of the peppers and stuff the Monterey Jack cheese slices into each one of the peppers, okay? If one of the peppers falls apart, go ahead and use a toothpick to hold it in place. Just remember that when you eat the pepper, 
you don't swallow the toothpick. <laughs> okay, just look out for that. All right, uh, next, go ahead and uh, take your peppers and um, into another uh, pan. I put some hot oil, vegetable oil. Heat up some vegetable oil. Lightly uh, sprinkle some flour on each one of the peppers and dip them into the um, make, uh, egg batter mixture. Go ahead and put them into the hot oil and let each pepper uh, turn slightly brown. Obviously the egg batter is going to cook, uh, sort of fry in a way. And this is what they look like. Okay, go ahead and uh, take each one of the peppers out and go ahead and place them into the tomato mixture that's been simmering okay the peppers are gonna swim around in there <laughs> they're gonna get more flavor believe me folks it's smelling really good by now uh, and uh, I'm hungry <laughs> okay here's what the uh, the peppers look like uh, swimming around in their little swimming pool of sauce and I'll tell you folks the cheese the smell of the peppers uh, man, it's just incredible. You're really going to like it. Please make this recipe. I guarantee you're going to like it. Okay, so now this is what the finished product looks like. Um, here I've uh, made some rice and some. Uh, I've got some refried beans here. And there's the chili there. Go ahead and serve it up warm. And I tell you, it's just a really unique flavor that these chilies have. If you've never tried one, don't worry about it if you're scared of spicy foods actually the peppers they're not very they're not spicy at all but they do have a really good flavor to them so don't worry about them being hot because they won't be so go ahead and make this dish let me know what you think about it let me know how it turns out for you and um, I'm just happy to be back with you and um, if you have any suggestions for for future recipes let me know I'd love to hear from you Go ahead and leave me a comment, rate, subscribe, and until next time, this is Antonio signing out. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.